Hey guys, today we're back with another shooting review. And today on the channel, we have the Glock 29 Gen 4 10 millimeter. Stay tuned for this one. <laughs> All right, guys, we're back. Once again, this is the shooting review for the Glock 29 Gen 4 10 millimeter. Uh, let me tell you something, this is like having a cannon in your hand. This is the most powerful uh, gun that's, that the actual uh, Glock makes. That being said, it uh, actually handles it really, really well. The 10 millimeter round can put out a powerful, enough, or can put out a bullet powerful enough that it can match a, a power of a 41 Magnum. And uh, that being said, it's a really, really big uh, accomplishment, I guess you could say. A lot of people uh, has uh, switched back from 40 caliber back to 10 millimeter after uh, 10 millimeters pretty much hit the ground. This gun comes with uh, three mags. Let's see here. I thought I had them every one of my pockets. We uh, just shot these a little bit earlier. I found them here in a minute, but anyway. Comes with uh, three mags and everything, pinky extension, and uh, pretty much everything that would normally come with a Glock. The thing about the 29 and uh, the 30s that a lot of people don't really like, the 30s are 45. But the thing a lot of people don't like about the 29s is that they're a little bit thicker. So unless you've got bigger hands, it really won't fit you as well. But let me tell you something. This gun right here fits me like a glove. I was uh, shooting it, like I said, and uh, really did blow my mind how well it handled the 10 millimeter cartridge. And I was shooting some pretty hot uh, 10 millimeter through it. Not not hot hot like Liberty Defense, but some pretty pretty stout stuff. If I had to do if I do say so, but uh, it handled it very well, and I was really happy with it. That being said, if uh, if y'all have you know bigger hands and everything, then I would say the 29 would probably be for you. This right here would be a killer uh, pistol to carry because I mean not only if you was hunting a man, but if you walked up on the Sasquatch or something, you would kill him too. But uh, you know this it i really do like it i love 10 millimeter y'all know that and uh it's just something something else i love also on this gun too how you can put a rail on it if you'd like a lot of the smaller guns like the 26 the 27 you actually cannot put a light on it like a light rail and this one right here and the 20 and the 30 also has a light rail so that's very nice but guys i believe that'll be about it for the shooting review of the glock 29 and uh I'm trying to figure out if there's anything else to really say. I think also uh, the 29 would be probably more uh, more popular Glocks if more people caught on to the 10 millimeter. This is not really one that you see much just because not many people like the 10 millimeter. It's not, it's, it's catching enough power now to where, uh, you know, it's starting to become one of the probably big uh, six calibers out on the market, but it's uh, really not up there with 45, nine and, uh, I guess you'd say 357, 38 special, but uh, it's it's coming. It is coming back. I feel like it anyway. But guys, I appreciate y'all watching this. Like and subscribe for more gun reviews, and I will see you all in the next video. <laughs>